Number five hundred and seventy-six, 五百七十六。中午，中午，中午 means noon, noon. 中午 means middle, and 午 means noon. So middle noon, noon. Then what about morning? Morning we say 上午 because 上 is up, and 上中 means middle, and then down. Down is, uh, 下下午下午 after afternoon 上午 morning, and then 中午 means noon. 五百七十七终于终于终于 means finally, finally, finally. 五百七十八种种 Notice this is the third tone. Zhong. With the third tone, it means kind, a、uh, different kinds of something. And、uh, as a verb, as a verb, we say zhong, and then zhong means okay. Let me just say the fourth tone. It's a fourth tone. Zhong means、uh, to grow something. For example, zhong shu, grow trees. Okay, but here it's a third tone, so. Uh, it means kind or sort. 五百七十九，重要，重要，重要 means important, important, important. Okay, the first character means heavy, 重 heavy, and then 要 means need. And、uh, you can understand it this way. Um, so to what degree that you need something? Very heavy degree right here, so it must be something important. Let's look at this one. 主要 this one is 重要 right? 重 means heavy, and then 主 means it means master or the host, the host, the principal, the primary. Okay, and then 要 need to what degree that you need something? The top one, the head, the principal, the primary. As you can see. As you can guess, what that means, it means primary.、It、means primary.、Uh, this one is just important, but not not the top important. This is like the, the the first important thing you're gonna do. 主要 primary. Okay. 周末周末周末 means weekend. It's very easy to understand. Look at the first character. Zhou means week, and then mo means end. So Zhou mo weekend. 五百八十二住住住 means to leave, to leave. And and、uh, this whole character is based on this sound. This character right here. Say 主主呃哦、oh, sorry not 主主 means pig 主人 All right here. Here, right here, Zhu means、um, the master, master, okay, master or host, host. Here, here's a host, and then this part, the left part, look at that. It looks like a small house with roof. The roof right here. This is a roof. Yeah, that's a little squeezy house with the host in it. So to live together. Put them together to leave. 五百八十三住住 to wish to wish. In Mandarin, um, when you want to say good luck, we say 祝你好运祝你好运 So wish you 你 you like 你好 you good. 祝你好运 good. And then this one, you means luck. Wish you good luck. This is the how to say good luck in Mandarin. Next one, 五百八十四注意注意 means pay attention, attention, pay attention. 注意 You can see this character. You can see these words when you are traveling in China or any. Uh, Mandarin-speaking countries, like 
you can see them on the street. Those are like traffic signs, or uh, if you go to a um, construction area, you can see this kind of sign everywhere. Pretty much, pay attention to safety. Let me show you this. This right here. Pay attention to safety. 注意安全安全 means safety. And then they will show you this sign. So to let you know, um, by there there might be a danger ahead. So be careful. Pay attention to safety. Okay. Next one. 五百八十五准备准备准备 means to prepare prepare. Actually, in this word, the key word is the second one. 备 means to prepare. For example, 备考呃备考考 means you know what that means exam to to have an exam 考 like 考试考试 to have an exam. So 备考 means to prepare an exam. Okay, and then 准 means to allow. To allow you to do something, allow you to prepare, and then we put them together to say in a formal way. It means to prepare, to prepare. 五百八十六桌子，桌子，桌子，桌子 means table. Just remember this one. 桌子，字，字 means word, word, 字。And then this whole character is based on this character. The sound is based on this one. Z, z has no has nothing to do with the meaning. It's just based on the sound. Z, like this here. Z, z, z means sun. Usually, that means sun. Of course, here it's not like the the sun of the table or whatever. No, here it just. You add this z at the end to to make a word actually to to make it sounds more formal, and the key word is right here. 桌 Next one, 五百八十八字典 So, uh, the previous one we talked about the 字 means word, right? And then this one is 字典字典 means 点 means um, like you you can you can take a look of this character, uh, so so the books. So you you put the books vertically in a shelf, looks a little bit like that, and then lots of books. This is the words. Imagine, can you imagine a dictionary? There you go. That means dictionary, dictionary, dictionary. All right. Let me show you the Chinese dictionary right here. All right. It's pretty red. It's like a very Chinese color. 新华大字典，新 ，new right new and 华 means Chinese， 大 big， 嗯字典 dictionary， so new Chinese big dictionary， 新华大字典。This is what I used to use back in China when I prepare you know Chinese literature courses, um back in my high school. We pretty much we um it's required all the students need to have one. Yeah. Sometimes they allow you to use it in an exam, but you don't have the time. 五百八十九自己，自己，自己 means oneself, oneself. For example, how do we say yourself? We say 你自己 What about、uh, himself? How do we say that? You're right. We say 他自己 which 他 this 他 this 他 means him. The male, the male one, 他自己 Of course, you can change it to the female one, 他自己 or the object one, 他自己 The third one, yeah, yeah, 他自己五百九十自行车自行车自行车 means bike. The bike. There are other ways to say bikes. I'll just um give you another one. It's called 单车单车单单 means single, single car or just vehicle, not necessarily just a car or can be a bus, just vehicle. So single vehicle, single bike. It means bike, 
single car, it means bike. Yeah. So probably you're wondering why is this a single bike? Because there are two wheels, not just one wheel.、Um, well, I did some research. This word comes from、um, originally because people think、um, people used to think this、uh, the bike bicycle the traditional one is only for the single person, not for the single person like、um, never get married that kind of single only for one person bike. It's not for two people. Of course, now you have you have seen the two people bike like tandem bike like this, but. Originally, it wasn't like this, right? That's that's where this character comes from. 单车 means bike, and then 自行车自 yourself, right? 自 yourself, and then 行 means to go, like to walk or in any kinds of ways to moving forward to go. So yourself, um, to go car. So you do it. You walk, and you no. You go. Ah,、uh, you can use this kind of car or all kinds of、um, vehicle to go by your own physical force. That's the bike. Because you have to ride on it, you have to use your, ah,、uh, your, your own physical force to make the bike moving forward, right? Okay, 自行车或者单车。单车，五百九十一，总是，总是，总是 means always， always， OK， 五百九十二，走，走 means to walk， walk， or to go， to go， 五百九十三，最，最 ，the most， how do we say the highest？ Right， we say 最高 ，the highest。And then, what about the smallest? Say, 最小，最小 smallest, the most. So the most, the next one, the most gym close, the most closed. What does that mean? It means recent, recent, or recently, recently. It can be an adverb as well. Um, 五百九十五，昨天，昨天。昨天 means yesterday, yesterday. Then how do we say last night, yesterday evening? We borrow this one. 昨昨 that's a key word. Ah,、uh, 天 okay. 昨昨 means yesterday, and then night 晚 okay. 昨晚 means last night, last night. Hopefully, okay. Already here, night. All right, last night. 五百九十六，左边，左边 ，oops， 左，左边，左边。It shouldn't be like a neutral tone. I think it should be. It should be the the first tone. Uh, the first tone. Yeah. You know what? Let me do some research here. Oops, it's too happy, guy. Uh, let's see. Google Trans, Google. 左边 Do we see that? Okay, that's the that's the music. 左边嗯，读音，读音。Okay, here. 左边 Oops, really. All right, probably. I was wrong. The what? 边 Is this be right? It should be the first tone, but when we put them together, the second tone, the second character, the second the tone of the second character neutralized for some reason. So when we we can say 左边左边 so you don't have to say 左边 That's um you can see you can say those two individual words separately. With the correct sounds, with the correct tones, but when we put them together like this one, follow the standard, okay? Follow the standard. 左边，左边，左边 means left side, left side. It's very easy. 左 means left. 边 means 
side, side or 左边。五百九十七，坐，坐，坐 means to sit, sit。五百九十八，坐，坐 means to make, 坐 means to make. OK。五百九十九，作业，作业，作业 means homework, homework. Or sometimes it means operation, operation. Yeah, and then we put them together. 做作业，做作业，做作业。What does that mean? To make some homework. It doesn't mean to make some homework. It means to do your homework. To do your homework. Let me write this down. To make or to do. To do. Okay. The last one. 六百。作用，作用 ，effect. Effect. People may ask you, "Ah,、uh, 有什么作用？有什么作用 ？So what e- effect does it have? It means why you're doing this. <laughs> um, why? What kind of effects are you expecting by doing this? It means why you're doing so. Okay. And then, if if nothing will happen. Nothing will work. You can say, "Ah,、uh, 不起作用，不起作用。不起起 means to grow something, to make something, to, um,、uh, show up, to grow. And then 作用 means effect. So never grow the effect. It means it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, here. Doesn't work. Okay, 不起作用 It doesn't work. This is the last video of my HSK Level Three vocabulary video series. Thanks for bearing with me to the end. I hope、uh, wish your best luck of your HSK exam.、Mm, I will make more videos about、um, other levels. Hopefully, to see you guys in other videos. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video, and、uh, best luck to your exam. Thank you.